like we're at really breezing through October in more ways than one. Yeah, Kevin. that's right. The winds of change are blowing, right? It is really whipping out there near showers out and ahead of these showers. We've had winds in excess of 70 miles per hour in a few places. 69 in Bismarck or rather Dickinson at the airport. I don't think we'll see 69 mile per hour winds in Bismarck, but we could see over 40 if the showers hold together by mid to late evening. Conditions have improved for now. The dust has settled down in Dickinson, but still the wind will remain here for the next couple of hours. It'll back off a little bit, but then later tonight after midnight, we could have some gusts over 40 miles per hour. High wind warning next hour or two with the uh, gusty showers with again possibility of winds over 60 miles per hour. That does include areas now just east of Dickinson. Look out toward Richardson and Hebron areas east of Bowman as well as the wind will be subsiding in Williston, but still remaining gusty. This was earlier time lapse in Williston. Watch the dust blow through there. That's what went through Dickinson as well and the rest of most of western North Dakota as the wind continues here into the western half of the state or at least third of the state. Also gusty winds back through eastern Montana as well. Sky tracker Doppler radar and again the reason why we've got the high winds we've got the cold front which has moved through and also momentum transfer in the atmosphere uh, with that cold front bringing in some of the uh, gusty winds right toward the surface here diving through with these showers advancing through portions of western North Dakota. So the wind is uh, being picked up and uh, accelerated by those showers in addition to the cold front itself. So a couple different factors going on. And that's why we've had winds over 70 miles per hour. That alone won't last that long. Just one time and then later tonight the winds will average about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Strong low pressure moving through southern Canada. We got that pressure gradient. That means winds increasing after midnight, but on the heels of those showers, gusty winds, just like in Dickinson with winds the next hour or so, 40, maybe 50 miles per hour. It backs off for a spell and then later in the night increases after midnight as the gradient wind and the cooler air begins to rush in from eastern Montana. The winds only at seven in Bismarck right now, but 46 sustained in Dickinson here. So the winds have been gusting upwards of 70 miles per hour. Again, a lot of those higher winds associated with the gusty showers, but once the showers move through, the wind backs off and averages 30 to 40 miles per hour, and then later in the night it increases once again, but not quite to 70 miles per hour. Again, more like 40, possibly 50 mile per hour winds. Right now in Billings, we got 56 mile per hour winds. It is going to be a blustery night for many of us, especially the western half of North Dakota and eastern Montana. Still 69 in Bismarck, Mandan, but now back into the 50s in Dickinson. Look at the change here, 57 for the Queen City, but still 71 in Henninger. We were in the mid to even upper 70s around Dickinson just a couple of hours ago. And now we've got the rain showers advancing through Williston. The wind's not as strong, but it has definitely gotten cooler with that 53 degree temp and winds around 30 miles miles per hour. So we got the low moving on through gusty showers can be expected and that may carry over for the first half of our Wednesday over central North Dakota. Blustery conditions, skies mostly cloudy most of our day on Wednesday. Uh, but the highest winds with these showers here for the next couple of hours. Things do improve though beyond tomorrow as we'll be back near 70 Thursday and Friday. Much colder weather beyond the seven day forecast, but for now, things are looking pretty good outside of the gusty winds right now. Yeah, that's not good. No doubt. Thanks. All right, we'll be back with sports in just a minute.